it up. Hi all. In this uh, video session, let's understand the most important commonly asked interview question. That is, explain system dot out dot print error or explain system dot out dot print. Very commonly asked interview question. And we all know the answer that uh, system dot out dot print ln or print method it is used to print the content. As like in C, we use something called printf, isn't it? In the same way, in Java, we use system dot out dot print ln to print the content. Any content that I want to print, I can use system dot out dot print. Okay, that's the functionality of this, but what exactly it is internally? And definitely they don't expect you to give this answer in an interview. Correct. When you go to interview and if you say, oh system dot out dot print ln is used to print the content, they will say get lost. Right? So you, you just have to explain the internal concept of this system dot out dot print ln. Let's see to it. I'll give you a realistic example. Okay. Let's imagine my Java program is running on the system. I have a Java program. Okay. My Java program, uh, executable, that is nothing but a dot class program, is running on this system. Let's say this is a CPU in which my dot class program is running. I have a monitor and I do have keyboard. Now what I want is, in my Java application, whenever I enter something in the keyboard, I want to read that data entered by the keyboard. Okay? Now, something comes from keyboard to your program. Something comes from keyboard to your program. Can I call it as input? So, it is an input to your Java program. So, we call or we represent it as system.in. We represent it as system dot in system dot in okay similarly you want to print the content means something the content goes from java program to the system so and we represent it by using system dot out so remember system dot out is an output to the system system dot in is an input to the java program Okay, so input is represented by system dot in and output is represented by system dot out. Okay, that is a functional understanding of it. Technically, if you go deeper into the concept, system is an inbuilt class. In Java, system is already present. Sun Microsystem has already developed the class called system, which is present in java.lang package. So the fully qualified class name is java.lang.system. So it is an inbuilt class. Observe it stands with an uppercase. We know as a standard programming language and a good practice that all the classes stands with uppercases. Correct? So it is an inbuilt class. Fine. What is this print or print ln? Print or print ln is the method which prints some content. So content should be given as an argument. Content should be given as an argument. This is the content and this print or print ln is a method to print the content. There is not much difference between print and print ln. Print method prints the content in the same way. Print ln method prints the content in the next line. Okay. Just to give you a quick simple example on this. Let's just say system dot out dot print of hello. Again, I use system dot out dot print of all. Then, if you run this program, it the output is this hello. It prints on the same line hello all. It prints on the same line. Rather the same program, rather the same program, if I print 
System dot out dot print ln stands for new line or next line of hello and system dot out dot print ln of all observe here it is print ln method this is ln stands for new line or next line here just the print method and when I run this program, it prints the output in two different lines as hello and then off. That's the small difference between print method and print element method. Okay? But our focus is to understand what is system dot out dot print element. So we know print dot print element is the method which prints the content. Whatever the content we give, that content is going to be printed. And system is an inbuilt class which is already present in Java as a part of java.lang package. Okay, then what is this out? Let's understand the out in detail. Okay. Now, I'll explain you what is the meaning of out. Basically, out is an object of print stream. I repeat, out is an object of print stream. So, when I say print stream, what is it then? Obviously, we know when I say object means object can be created out of a class. So, print stream is an inbuilt class, okay, which is part of java.io package. So totally two classes, one class is called system class, which is an inbuilt class and print string is also an inbuilt class. The object of print string class is associated with system class. I'll explain to you how. There is an inbuilt class called as system class. Okay. It is a public final class. public final class called as system class which is present in a package called java.lang package okay there is one more inbuilt class called as print stream public class called as print stream and this class is present in package in the package called java.io java.io now this print stream class has got so many overloaded methods example public void plus means public human notation of public is plus public void print method or print ln which takes string array no sorry string as an argument which is going to print the content and so many other overloaded methods of print ln the method takes print ln of integer integer value this is going to print the integer value similarly another method public void print or print ln of superclass object object obj as the parameter like this many overloaded print ln methods are present in a class called print stream so if someone asks 
give me a, give me a real time example for overloading then it's good that if you give this example it not only shows that you know the concept of overloading but also demonstrates that you know integrated classes of Java. So to re-edit it, there is a class called print string. The fully qualified class name is java.io.printstring, which has got so many overloaded methods, print and then methods. We know what is what is, we know already what is method overloading. Let's not discuss about that in this chapter. Okay. Now the object of this class is associated with the system class. Example. public static final print stream and the name of the variable is out there is a variable called out of data type print stream it's an object of print stream equal to new the object so the object of print stream is associated with the system class and very important to note it is a static variable it is a static variable since it is static we access it by using system dot out we access the static members by the class name class name is system hence we access the static data members by using system dot out Okay, now when I get the object of the print stream, I can access all the non static methods by the object. I repeat, these are all non static methods. Non static methods are called as instance methods. We access all the instance methods by creating an object or instance of the print stream. And how do we get the object of the print stream? The object we get it here within the class called system. So system dot out gives you an object of print stream. Using that object, we call the print as a method. So totally, we access by using system dot out. System is an inbuilt class. Out is an object of type of print stream, which is a static variable in a class called system. Dot print and then print or print and then print and then methods are overloaded methods okay give the content hello now which method is going to be executed since i'm passing string array as an argument sorry string as an argument is going to execute the first method so the conclusion is that system dot out of print and then is used to print the content Okay, system is an inbuilt class present in java.lang package. Out is an object of print string, which is a static variable in a class called system. And print LM is the overloaded methods of print string class. That's the conclusion.